I suppose these days all good gardeners, caring gardeners, would have a compost heap. It's a really fabulous way of producing organic matter that you can dig into your soil and make it better and better and better every year, particularly for the veggie garden. But the other thing is, don't forget, when you're composting stuff and putting it back in the soil, you're locking carbon into the soil, so it, it's good for the planet. Now, this is standard one. You build up layers of green stuff and dead leaves and all the rest of it, but there is a trick to getting better compost, and that's what we're going to look at now. By the way, if the noise is getting to you, we're beside an aviary here full of actually blue bush budgies. They're Bush budgies are normally green, but these ones mutated to blue. This is the engine room that drives my compost. These are the chooks. I suppose most people that compost in the garden would probably have chooks to produce eggs. The black ones are the best, by the way. Um, and everybody knows, I suppose, that chook poo is really good as a fertiliser. The chook poo plus the soil under it makes a wonderful decomposing agent. You get all the microorganisms that are in the soil under the poo and your compost heap will work much, much better. So it's a simple tip. If you've got a compost heap and you've got chooks, get the fertiliser from the floor but the soil as well underneath because that is a compost activator. And when you do dig out a bit of soil and a lot of this poo, of course the hens have a wonderful feast of earthworms. Here I go. And all you've got to do is put the poo and the soil on top. You could dig it in, but you don't need to. You'll be adding more layers of organic material and it all just mixes up the worms in there and all the other organisms do. Now if you're wondering what you can compost, it's really almost anything. Not bulbous weeds, not oxalis or onion weeds, but all the weeds in your garden can go in. Everything from the kitchen that you don't eat but is edible or whatever, that can go in. Leaves, be it grass mowings, whatever, shove them all in. Ideally, every so often, perhaps one like this, you would take the front off, it opens out, shovel it out and shovel the whole thing back in. That speeds up the process. But chook poo and the soil from underneath will really get all the microorganisms working in your compost. And don't forget, you're doing your bit, a little bit, but it's your bit for the planet in putting carbon back into the ground. Now, if you're wondering how this compost heap works, it's actually two heaps, each with its own door, and there's a door in the middle. Normally what you do is, you put the fresher stuff, the greener stuff, on one side, and the older stuff is in the other one. Now, what the system is, is there's just some clips here that undo. I think there's two or three of them down there. And you just unclip them, then this whole thing opens as a door. Now, here's the good bit about it. You bring your wheelbarrow in and just move it into the wheelbarrow with a garden fork or something so you're not lifting all the rest of it. So that's all it is. Uh, treated pine, some metal stakes. This is a good idea. Where you've got the weld mesh, if you get an old hose and cut it down one side, you can run it along the top so you don't cut yourself as you're getting bits and pieces in. But air getting into compost is very important. And in case you're wondering about this, I harvest a lot of the weeds that grow out of this to feed to my birds, whether it's the chooks or budgies or whatever. So it's also producing food. We've got chickweed here and all the rest of it there. That's a very simple compost heap.